is Topps Chrome Star Wars 4 box random letter number 5. We just opened a sealed case. We got it in the VOD. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, and it's four boxes. Never tell me the hops or tagline is, you'll love it. I know. That's pretty good. How was it, though? Real question. How was it? I've had too many, uh... Too many different IPAs that got cool names and they try it and they're super okay or actually pretty bad. It was actually good? Huh. Is it a local brew or is this something I could find? 4.1. Huh. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Now, did it get an extra 0.1 because of the name and the tagline? out of Miami. I wonder if I could find one at a local store. You've piqued my interest. Huh, weird, I just noticed. I was like, I swore these all had the little cardboard uh, bottom. Box number one did not have a cardboard uh, spacer. Sure that damn email got sent out. Cool. Looks like it did. We are beyond due a spicy auto. Hoping to see one come out of this half case. Looking for some absolute fire. And those like the uh, cyborg kids in that episode of a uh, book of Boba Fett, where it's like all the little the hoodlums. Now we're like we're part robot. I don't know who was in charge of doing the makeup or uh, costuming, but they all just looked real goofy. They looked like cosplayers. They didn't look like they were actually in the Star Wars universe. Cyborg Power Rangers. No, I'm actually, like, that's a diss to cosplayers for me to say that. I think cosplayers would have done a better job with <laughs> trying to look, like, go for the look that those guys are supposed to have. There's a big question mark on those characters, not gonna lie. I'm wondering if there's, like, a toy that got made out of them or something, like, if that was the goal. So many things where you can trace down the creation of it down to it being a marketable toy. I'm 
pretty sure uh, the reintroduction of stormtroopers with jetpacks was specifically for a toy. And then whoever wrote the line, they f now they fly, really flubbed it. I just remember Boyega pointing out in an interview, he was like, they've had them. Have you not seen the Clone Wars? Which makes me curious if that was brought up on set or during like the whole thing. Questioning uh, that line, but you know how it'd be. All right. Pulling up the name of the different parallels because they've got cool names, and I want to I want to get more familiar with them. There we go. Best of luck, everybody. Disney pulling back production budget at that point. All right, maybe. I mean, it was, the rest of the show looked phenomenal. The armor and everything looks phenomenal. So I guess that makes sense. Alrighty, here we go. We got Mayfeld, Chin, Princess Leia. We're just gonna go a little bit faster. I forgot how big these packs are. We got a refractor of R5 D4 for the R spot. Going to Juice. We got the Duchess. Oh, there's one of the Power Rangers. And we got a green. I believe this is the Kashik. Green Fractor to no oh my god the color match I'm actually super jealous of this who's got H M J I'm very jealous of that one told you guys I really want an auto of Hera Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Hera on oh, the Kashyyyk green to 99 color match on that one was insane and we got a refractor of Haja. Is Skibbity the Jedi droid in this? Skibbity? I know Chopper. I'll keep an eye out for Skibbity. I just think of the meme when I hear Skibbity. Oh, Skippy. I don't know why. Oh, wow, I read, really read that as Skibbity. I'm the one with the problem. Let me get some top loaders real quick. I think, unless Brown hid some of the uh, sleeves somewhere, I think I am out. Skippy the Jedi droid? Wait, I've no, I've never heard of this. R5-D4? R5-D4 is a Jedi? Was it like a comic or a... What's it called? Visual novel? There we go. Restocked on the sleeves that I need, and we're good to go and right up at the top. Oh my goodness. We got a Starship blueprint. It's going to the P. Luke B16 with Poe Dameron's X Wing fighter. For those of you who don't know, look how many layers are in this card. Every single one of those is a different layer of the car. These things are absolutely beautiful. 
Fan with the nice. It's an R5-D4 model, but it's not the... Okay, I see. I wasn't familiar. Dave Durango, I really appreciate the... Uh, the knowledge sharing. Luke called him red. Wait, okay, what are the, what's this from? Said something from the 90s? The D4 model has force sensitive malfunctions on purpose, so Luke takes R2D2. Oh, interesting. Thirty-five out of fifty on Poe's X Wing. I like these ones a lot, the blueprints. They're just really pretty. I'm gonna tell myself nice catch there, because I did catch it. Chrome, Star Wars. I forgot to write out the sticky note. Number five. Is that? Because I know there's also the, the legends like the Star Wars legend stuff and that stuff straight up is all just removed from canon. Disney said, all that, take it away, throw it in the garbage, except for some stuff that we do like. Rise of Palpatine, Arrival at the second Death Star, that's going to the A spot. Ooh, Queen. I'm a Dahlia. I don't know why I, I don't know why I really had to think on that. On the Galactic Gear, I love the Galactic Gears. This is going to the Q spot, Luke, B-16. On the Queen, Amadalia. Here's Jack Black. They keep taking from it, messing it up. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, got, I got very little to say. Oh, another Kashi Green to 99 of Luke Skywalker as the Tatooine farm boy. Let's see who the actor, what's his name? Grant Feely, going to G. Pure One Sports. Again, the Grant Feely auto. On the green to 99 is our first auto. I know plenty of you are saying, oh, that's not the Luke we were looking for. But it is still a Luke Skywalker. Hopefully we can take this as a sign that we're going to see one of the big names. You know what I'm saying? Did I miss a rookie? Or the debut? The silly little debut badges. I only have one or two here. I feel like we usually see a bunch of those. Total retcon. Yeah, they got to figure something out. All right, I got the Aris Bo-Katan wields the dark saber going to the letter B. MJ. There we got K2SO going to the K and the refractor. Danny Trejo there, and ooh C3PO and the Rebel Alliance card going to C. Luke B, and then Shin Hati. On the Skywalker Blue to 150. Got 107 on this one for S. DJ Neal. Big fan of the Skywalker Blue, man. Entirely because it's the color blue. Luke Skywalker, there's the base card. He's looking at us. Oh, I just realized it's different artwork than what he got on the auto. That's cool. There's Cena and Boba Fett's Rancor. We love a rookie color. Feeling Skywalker blue? And uh, that's one I like a lot. I'm a fan of that one, Jason. Biggest pull out of this product? Um, I want to say Vader's TIE Fighter. That one was just kind of crazy. There's probably something more, but that's the one that stuck out the most to me just because... Uh, 
personal opinion. What is this? Oh, shoot. Green to 99. We got number 90 on the Luke Skywalker for the Rebel Alliance. Getting inserts of these are so freaking cool, man. Now it means you gotta get green on all the rest of them. Ash! On the Luke Skywalker spot hit on the Rebel Alliance. 90 out of 99. That is definitely a sick one. Love the Grogu there, so cute. <gasps> How about a Grogu sketch? How about a Grogu on the sketch? Absolutely beautiful. Pure One Sports. Off the hit on Grogu. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know what it is about sketches lately. I feel like we've been pulling them like crazy. There's Pure One Sports. That is fan freaking tastic. Oh my goodness. Let me write this on a sticky note. That's, we got the Grogu. a very very wonderful hit man that's crazy the true mascot of Star Wars as of late Grogu on the sketch we're gonna put that back there watch over us cooking dinner and then BAM yeah your dinner is about to taste ten times better I'm sure it was already delicious but you know you got a little taste of victory added to it. A little sprinkle of victory. Another Hera. And I see something. Rise of Palpatine, the tale of Darth Plagueis. That one's going to the T-spot for Naka. And we've got... We've got gold. Gold Refractor number to 48. It's Grand Admiral Thawne. Gosh, Mickelson, he did a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful job in his Lars. He killed it in this role, man. He absolutely destroyed it with this role. Not to say he doesn't usually. I loved his character in The Witcher. He made it really easy to hate him in The Witcher. 48 out of 50 on the Grand Admiral Thrawn. Going to the G. Pure. Getting another hit this time in the gold. All right, let's go to the next box. Box one was pretty straight fire with the sketch and the blueprint. Superfam said it, not me. The Sorcerer, or the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Oh my goodness, I'm in the wrong universe right here. The Secret Apprentice and the Rallies of Palpatine going to DJ Neil off, or no, going to the T-spot, Naka. And we got another Skywalker Blue to 150. And the camera just died. Let me uh, fix the camera real quick. What's going on? You good, Pimp? You guys can probably hear it making all that noise. Wow.
glad this is happening while I'm here. Because I can fix it. Give me one second, you guys. There we go. It's acting like that R5 unit. Yeah, the camera is force sensitive. Well, we have a very cool Skywalker Blue of Reva. Who's got our juice? Getting Reva 127 out of 150. On the Skywalker Blue. Okay, like the Sabine. Could probably zoom in a little bit. And a Silver of Mayfield. The amount of times that my dad's just played Burr's stand up sessions just on audio during car drives. Been up and down, but always cool. Ooh. You guys know when you go to the casinos in Vegas, they do that. Ten. To ten. Oh my goodness. What a cool freaking card. On the Mustafar Lava Refractor to ten. Lando. Portrayed by Childish Gambino. Five out of ten on the Mustafar Lava Refractor. My boy Donald Glover, she says. That's just so cool. Who's got L for Lando? Ash! Holy crap. The L, the, yeah, the L spot doing pretty freaking solid right now. We're in some low numbers. I need to watch Atlanta. I've heard nothing but good stuff about Atlanta. Cards wrinkling your brain. Yeah, I did not know the lava refractors were gonna look that good. That's the first lava that we've seen. Eris, the team arrives at the secret enclave. It's going to the T. Mace Windu for M going in the silver. There you got Rise of Palpatine, final battle with Rey and Kylo. Going for F, Pure One Sports. And to 25, a Rebel Orange. We got a Rebel Orange of Xi'an from the Mandalorian. And we have in the X spot, Pure One. With the nice low numbered rebel orange to 25 of Xi'an. I think Cad Bane was such a cool character for them to move onto the live. They're 30 minutes easy watches. I've heard. Do you know what platform it is on right now? I do really want to watch it. He was in charge of the music for it too, wasn't he? Refractor. Princess Leia. She was uh, so sassy as a child. So sassy. 
And wow, another. Well, you guys already see who it is. C3PO in the Kashyyyk Green to 99. Luke. My goodness. The amount of numbered inserts we're getting out of this uh, this case so far is insane. It's on Disney Plus and Hulu. Oh, so that means I can watch it. How is it on Disney Plus? Disney Plus is just continuing to be such a weird platform to watch things on. They have so much that you don't expect. Is it because of Fox? Is it owned by Fox? The Aris Bo Katan going to the B. And Qui Gon on the refractor. Everything I was on FX is on Hulu, and then because it's on Hulu, therefore it's on Disney Plus. I see. All right, last handful before we do some casing and sleeving. We got Andor on the Rebel Alliance for the C spot. Luke. Oh, Jesus. That's. I did not know she had a galactic gear. I did not know she had a galactic gear. Who's got Q? Luke. Or Akira. That's a card to get giddy about. 60 days in? I have not heard of it. Oh! We got some ink. Rick Oley. As the character of who's it going to? It's signed by Ralph Brown, so going to the R spot regardless. Juice with some ink. We're gonna do some casing and sleeving real quick and then we'll continue with a break. What's this show you guys are talking about? 60 days in? Why does that sound from? I think that sounds familiar. Real people go inside a jail for 60 days, and it's just like reality TV with that. Has anyone gotten shanked? Or is it jail or is it prison? Prisoners figured out and gets kind of whack. And it's on Disney Plus? See, I would have thought that Disney Plus would have been like super uh, strict about what they allow on their platform, but I guess they're taking money, 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 money over making it continue to be uh what ch child like family oriented all right good luck on box number three Sorry, I'm trying to find a better way for like my my arm to ease the the wrist pain I've been getting lately. 
This is a little bit better. We got A. Rise of Palpatine Order 66. Uh-oh, a lot of people are about to die. Going to the O. And a Skywalker Blue. Oh, she's back. Shion. In the X spot, going to Pure. Pure's got to start the, uh, the rainbow now. Love that Mandalorian card. Carson's a fun character. The Client. The Eris bo -Katan going to the B. Supreme Leader Snoke in the, the Refractor. There's Mercedes. FKA. Oh, wait, hang on. I spy with my little eye something really cool. I'm going to shut up, but I don't even remember what I was talking about. I think I was talking about Sasha Banks. Is this a numbered copy of this card? I'm just going to grab the top two because these die cuts can be pretty. Numbered to 25 on the Rebel Orange. We got an I Love You, the indoor bunker. Nothing like a I Love You moment. The Bunkers of Endor. Go into T. Naka, 808. Getting 17 out of 25 on the I Love You. Now you gotta get the other half. Get the heart. Look as good, you will not. That's pretty good, Yandog. I do want to see two of these cards next to each other so we can get the full heart look. The Endor Bunker. Bunker on Endor. I don't imagine that's uh, the most romantic of places. I need to rewatch the original three. It's been too long. It's been way too long. Fourth sister. We got, ooh, Refractor of the Mandalorian. Oh, grab two cards there. Civil War with the Separatists. Someone's going to the C. And another Rebel Orange Refractor. Of the Steel Pekka. Going to the S. DJ Neal with Steel Pekka. It's a debut card. Oh, two for one shrimp combo. No egg roll since it was reversed. The armor is so, like, I love that character. The armor too. Jar Jar Binks, Misa Anakin. The heiress, Bo Katan. And she keeps coming back. Kira on the refractor. We got one of the Scars cards. Scars card. Bill Scars card. Is this a green? I did not know you could get these in parallels. Holy cow. On the Kashyyyk Green Refractor to 99. Order 66 on the Rise of Palpatine insert. Going to TJK. Off the O. I did not know those ones were also available in parallels. That is crazy. The Client on the Refractor. First Vader we've seen all break. You got a Galactic Empire of Admiral Multi. Going to A, B, C. And then Captain Phasma, the character I wish we got just a little more out of, man. Just a little bit more. 
on the Galactic Gear. On the gold to 50, Dedra Miro. On the gold auto to 50, Denise Go. Going to the D spot. Either way, MJ23 with a gold auto of Deidre. I do love the color. Like the, the backgrounds on these. How you've got the like the blue that goes down the middle because she's in the Galactic Empire. Like every single team they see in the bottom, they have a different color that strikes through the card, and I think they just look so pretty. Numbered autos, two of them so far out of the out of the three that we've opened. I can say without a doubt, these four box or just this case has been treating us much better than the first two. some casing and sleeving before we get to the final box. Zoom out a little bit. And we are good to go. Rise of Palpatine, extracting Vader, going to the E. And a purple. To 199, what are these called? Oh no, it's an aqua. Camino Aqua of Emperor Palpatine. You can see the aqua on the bottom left. Go into the E, TJK, off the Emperor Palpatine, number to 199. Grief Karga. I like this character. Bo-Katan on the Eris. We got Ayla on the Refractor. I think I see some fun color out of this one. Emergency powers on the rise of Palpatine going to E. And another, what are the Kashi Green, right? To 99. Oh, shoot. Count Dooku on the Galactic Gear. This case has been. Feeding. I remember our past couple cases, and they were not like this by any means. Silver Cad Bane, that's a cool one. Shin Hati on the Debu. Fixer. Fam's too sharp. Galactic Empire, the Imperial Royal Guards. I think it's funny that you can see their eyes in here. Definitely couldn't see them in the movie. Kashi Green of Twi'lek, Major Domo, with the color match to his outfit. This guy was uh, one of the most fake characters I've ever met. Did not like his character. I was like, I hope this guy dies. Eris of bo -Katan. Reassures Grogu, and there's Yoda in the refractor. 
Yeah, there's something thick right here. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see what it is. I'm very curious. There's no way it's another blueprint. I think people were saying blueprints are one per case on average. Leo Organa on the Rebel Alliance. Oh my goodness. Wait, and then right after that is the blue. Skywalker blue, Dexter for D. Oh my god, it is. And that is of... Dude, it's like a mirror. That thing's beautiful in the Star Destroyer. DJ. One of the most iconic ships out of Star Wars. I didn't know you can get more than one of these in a case. I know that it's an odds thing, but when you do the odds, for two to come out of a case is kind of absurd. Verified on glitch. So is this whole case just glitched? Does that mean we need to definitely have the other two go? Star Destroyer. Oh, wait. Maybe because the other one was... um. Where'd the other one go? This one was a gold. So maybe because this one's a gold? This one's a gold of 50. This one's a refractor. So maybe the the parallels have uh, their own inclusion rates or something like that? Number six is chillin', bruh. Got a refractor of Dedra. Here's the Duchess. Lizzo on the card. Galactic Gear of Lando. You got both. Uh, post and pre time skip of Lando. I'll say it that way. Just gets funny to put it that way. And this will be the last pack with the last hit. Good luck. Oh, there's our auto. Signed by Evan Witten going to the E. TJK. Getting some ink here. My goodness, please, these sleeves. With Evan Witten as Jason Sandula on the refractor auto. What the debut stamp? Debut? Do some casing and sleeping. Now we'll hit that sickle, nasty recap. I mean, regardless, hitting two within one break is pretty nutty. He carried the combo, yeah. I told you guys, I wasn't kidding, I spent like three, four hours reworking everything to see if everything, like what pairings would make the most sense. Unfortunately, all that changed is E moved up to be paired with N and O, and I think there's one other thing that got comboed, but I still put in the work, still made like eight spreadsheets, and then cross compared all of them. Because I want us to just do more Star Wars, man. I love this stuff. And we also get to talk about Star Wars the whole time we're opening it. It's just a good time. Get these recap ready to go. Let's 
So many low parallels, actually, I'm looking at it now. This might just be a straight-up glitched case. There's an insane amount of low numbers. All right, this is, of course, starting here with our Rebel Alliances, our Galactic Empires, our Galactic Gears. And then we've got Emperor Palpatine on the Camino Aqua, Skywalker Blue, Dexter. Continuing on with our Skywalker Blues. Now our Kashyyyk Greens. Gold to 50. Rebel Orange to 25. The beautiful Mustafar Lava to 10 of Lando. I think that's one of my favorites I've seen so far at a low parallels out of this. And then the I Love You on the indoor bunker in Rebel Orange. Rebel Orange actually very fitting for the card itself. Very, very, very cool. We also had two of the Starship blueprints, the Star Destroyer and then the gold Poe Dameron's X-Wing. Number to 50, getting 35 on this one. And then our autos. It's better if I just go through the back, huh? Evan Winton going to the E spot. Ralph Brown going to the R spot. No, I'm better off doing this. Grant Feely as Luke Skywalker in the Kashyyyk Green. And then the gold, Dendra Miro. Signed by Denise Gold, going to the D. And there's a little little guy back there. Grogu on the sketch. We really have had sketches just flying out of the pop room as of late. Really have just been having sketches fly out. Such a crazy hit for Pure One Sports on the Grogu sketch. Absolutely love it. I love it. Thank you guys all so much. That was 2024 Tops Crumb Star Wars 4 Box RL number 5. 6 is in the store. I'm going to load up 7. Let's keep doing this stuff, you guys. Come on. we got to find a cool auto. We've seen a sketch. we got to find a cool auto.